Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Monica here. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we will learn about the last method from the HTTP callout in Flow that is the delete method. So with the help of delete method, we can delete the object's data by just passing the ID of that object. Okay, so we will learn how we can achieve that, how we can use that delete method in our flow. Okay, but before that, let me just give you a quick output of the example that we are going to attempt today. Okay. Okay, so this is the flow that we are going to work today. We have worked on this flow uh, in the previous example as well for using the put method and patch method. I will tell you uh, all the details uh, later in this video. Now I will just show you an example of how the delete method will work. So here's an uh, object's name that I have fetched using the put methods response. After that put method response, I'm asking if the user uh, wants to update the name again to a new name, to a desired name, okay? If a user clicks on it, it will ask for the new name and it will go to the process of the patch response. But uh, if we use it or not, the delete one is going to work. Let's just skip it and let's just directly go to the delete one. If you will go to next screen, it will ask, do you want to delete this object, okay? If you want to delete this object, then click on the next button. Otherwise, just leave it. I will click on the next button and the delete method will work. Here we have a screen element in which we are getting the response from the delete method and the response says object with ID this has been deleted. So basically the object has been deleted successfully. This is all we are going to learn in this example uh, that how we can use delete method to delete an object's data. Okay. So now without any further ado, let's dive straight into our org and let's start creating our flow. Okay, so for today's example, I already have a flow which I have been using in the previous examples of HTTP callouts. In this flow, I will just give you an overview of what is happening in here. Okay, so first we have added the post method to post the data to the server. After that, uh, we got the values from the server and then we have used put method to alter the data from the server. So if you will see here, I have added some values. I have updated some values in the object's data. And using the put method, I have updated that from the server, okay? After that, after the put method, I have added a screen in which we are asking the user if they still want to update the name to a new name, okay? If the user clicks on the checkbox, then this input occurs and whatever the user put in this new input name uh, text box, using the patch HTTP method, we are partially updating the object's data. We are partially updating the object's name to the new name that user had just entered, okay? So this is all we have already in this flow. And after that, we have added a screen in which we have just added the updated name after the a uh, patch response action okay now what we will do is uh after this yes and no occurs what we will do is we will add a screen element and we will ask the user if they want to delete this object okay just add a display text here and write um do you want to delete the objects The object um, let's just customize it a little bit and bold let's make it center and let's click on done let's give the screen a name intonation screen and this will be information message okay now after the user will click on the next button on this screen we will one second yes so i was saying after the user will click on the next button on this screen we will just add the http delete method in the next step and then the delete method will delete the object eventually okay so for adding the delete method let's go to action element and create HTTP callout. Now, first we will of course create an external service. Uh, let's name it delete external service. And for name credential, we have our name credential already in which we have our base URL. Let's click on next. Let's create invocable action now. 
complete invocable action and for the method we will choose the delete method okay after that it asks for a url path if you have any url path you can add it here so for finding the url path we will go here we have selected delete already now here you can see this is your base url after the base url anything that you have that is your path okay so we will just copy it from here and add it here now of course six is a hard coded value that is basically the id of the object that we want to delete okay so instead of a, a six hard coded value we will add a variable name here variable name can be anything just uh, remember it will be it should be the same data type of the id that we are getting from the response so the id is a string and now it asks for query parameters we don't have any and it asks for sample request and sample response so for sample request we don't have any request for sample response we will add this response review and click on done this looks good now we will add details about the action element delete action element will be a nice name for it okay so here you will see this is our url now for the post id it wants us to input a value add a value which will be used as the id okay now uh, in this example we have three responses from the http server one was uh, one was from the post action response second was from the put action and third is from the patch action but remember all the ids uh, from uh, all of the three responses will be same so you can use any id from any response okay uh, you have to just type output uh, let's take patch id go here and take this id okay that is it let's click on done okay so this looks fine what we can do is we will add a screen element here again and let's name it deleted screen okay and here we will add a display text in which we will show the response that we got from the uh, delete method http callout um, let's name it delete message and here we will go to output from delete this and then message okay we are just showing the message that we have received uh, while we tried deleting the object okay let's just save it and save this flow There's an error if you're working on a screen component, check your components configuration for invalid values. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Let's refresh it again. But I think we will lose all of this. Uh, let me check if we find any error. I don't see anything bad here. Not here as well. Uh, let's just refresh it and see what happens. Okay, so my internet connection was lost and that was causing the error. I have added all the elements again because of course the flow reloaded and that is it. <laughs> okay, let's just debug it and check if there are any errors. Otherwise, we will just activate the flow. Um, yes, please run it. Okay, let's update the name or let's just leave it. Don't update the name. Let's click on next. After that, it will ask, do you want to delete the object? If we will click on next, then it will trigger the delete method of HTTP callout and the object should be deleted. After that, we should uh, see a screen with the response message of the delete method. Let's click on next. Uh, we have another, let's go here missing required input parameter post but i have added post id let's go back hmm. oh okay uh, so here's the blunder you should learn from it too uh, what i have done is i have taken the uh, 
batch actions output and taking the id from that but what i did wrong here was uh, now you will say monica you said earlier that all the ids from patch put and post will be same yes but what blunder i did was i have taken the patch elements id but i didn't really use the patch element remember we didn't check the checkbox of updating the name so it goes here and the patch element didn't occur that means the id was blank so in that case what will be safe to use is the post actions id okay uh, let's take this and let's click on that now i think it should work properly let's do all these steps again mm -hmm. see we didn't uh, updated the name that why the that's why it skipped the patch action uh, elements let's click on next do you want to delete yes and it is deleted successfully because as we see we have the response screen here which says object with id this has been deleted okay if you will go here you will see the message response is the same object with id this has been deleted and here in the debug detail we get the same message uh, let's go to debug details uh, here right hand side as you can see the screen element after the next button the delete external service occurs and it just sends the id of the object that we want to delete and it has been deleted here's the response message that we have gotten in this screen okay so that is how the delete element work that is how you can uh, use the delete method of http callout to delete the object's data okay that's it that was today's example it was the last uh, method of the http callout flow I will add all the previous videos related to the HTTP callout flow methods uh, in the description section below. So you can just uh, go to the previous uh, methods to check how does the get method, post method, put method and patch method work. And uh, I hope you learned something useful today. I hope you will use it in your uh, real life scenarios. I will see you super soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care and keep learning.